Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can visualize and analyze Google Scholar search results so you can explore any research topic or domain in order to find out what are the main terms or concepts contained inside, uh, what are the main topics, how they relate, and what are the gaps between them. And the gaps are usually the places where you can generate new ideas. And you can use the built-in GPT-3 AI to actually generate those ideas based on the gaps that you identify or just get an overview of a certain research domain which can be really useful for literature overview or just to get a basic understanding of any topic. So in order to do this you go to the apps of Infranodus and then you click on the scientific discourse. You can use different sources but in this case we will use Google Scholar and we will work on deep sleep and I will save it into Scholar deep sleep and then click import you can automatically it's going to import the top 40 results but you can also choose less or more and what happens here is that Infranodus performs a search on Google Scholar and gets the results usually they're comprised of the titles of the papers and the most relevant excerpts so Infranodus is going to get all those texts and represent every word as every concept as a node and every co-occurrence as a connection on the graph. Like this you can see the patterns of how they appear together and it becomes a really useful way to understand the context around a certain search query. So for example here we have deep sleep we see that light stage is quite prominent. In the search results if we click on it we will see the actual papers, actual results which contain those terms which is really useful for navigating through them. Uh, you also have the filters here that show the most or less cited papers. For example, if you want to see the papers with the most citations, then you can filter here and see what they're talking about. So they're talking about deep sleep phases, for instance. These are the less cited ones and they talk more, more about networks and so on. So this is also a useful way to uh, see what the different types of papers are talking about. Then you click on show all to see all of them at once. As you can see, automatically we remove the search uh, terms from the graph because otherwise, if they're inside, um, they take too much attention. So we just select them and hide them here. And let's say we want to explore something a little bit deeper. So for instance, uh, if I'm interested in convolutional network, I can select this. And on the left, I see the search results which contain those terms, but I can also click the button here to perform Google search on these two terms to see uh, what it is actually and if I like what I see I can save it into the graph by clicking here and then I have additional result uh, in in my graph. I can also choose to actually add uh, some more information uh, that relates to deep sleep and convolutional networks to this graph so for instance in this case I'm going to go to the import page here and then click more sources choose scientific publications here and actually go to the Google Scholar again and I can type in deep sleep let's say brain networks just to kind of expand a little bit this topic and make sure you save it into the same graph as you were in before then click import it's going to get search results for this query now a bit more specific and add it to the original graph uh, so you will see the results both for deep sleep and deep sleep and uh, brain networks and you can perform this action a few times so you can add as much information as you want and build the graph gradually. It's actually nice to build it gradually like this because uh, then at every stage of your research you will be able to see you know how the topic evolves but once you do that you actually have a filter here so this is just deep sleep brain, deep sleep brain networks uh, results and here at the bottom we have just the deep sleep results so you can shift in between those two and they, they will be filtered. If you click on this button here or reveal high level ideas button in the analytics panel it will use GPT-3 to generate the names for those clusters of main concepts that it identified which is very useful to get an overview and if you go to gap insights and you click highlight network and then show another gap for example then it's going to highlight the gaps that exist in this discourse and usually these are the places where you can generate new ideas. If you click on inside questions, we'll use GPT-3 AI to generate an interesting research question. So this is how it works.
Try it out on infernodus.com. Thank you.